Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the distinct、uh, barcodes problem. Let's first see the statement. In a warehouse, there is a row of barcodes. Where the I's barcode is barcodes, I rearrange the barcodes so that no two agent barcodes are equal. You may return any answer, and it is guaranteed an answer exists. So, because we do. We do not need to return all the possible permutations, so we do not need to use backtracking, and we just need to return a answer. So the only constraint is that、uh, there are no agent barcodes are equal, so we can generate the result、uh, pair by pair, which means we can every time we generate two. Barcode and make sure they are different. And、uh, how to、um, assign the barcode? I think the、uh, distinct is um is that、uh, we need to order the barcodes by their frequency. This is um which means we can use a hash map to record the. the Barcode and their frequency, and every time we pour the most frequent two barcodes and assign them to the result array. So in in order to get the uh most two frequent barcodes, we can use the heap data structure to compare the frequency of the barcodes. So I think this is the key of the solution that we first use a linear scan to these barcodes to get the frequency of the barcodes. Then we will use the max heap to get the most two frequent barcodes.、Uh, so that's it. Let's write the code. First, we need to、uh, get the n. Which is the barcode dot length, and this is the result, the size of the result array, which is n. And then we will use a map integer. The key is the integer, which means the value of the barcode, and the, the value also integer, integer, which means the frequency of this barcode. Hash map. Okay, then we uh. Iterate this barcode, barcode, barcodes, and the map put b, uh, and get or default because it may be the first time the barcode occur. We get the b. If not occur, we just get the、uh, return the zero and the plus one. That's the frequency increment by one. So now we get the frequency map. Then we will use a max heap, so we should use a priority queue and、uh, use integer. We need to save the barcode, distinct barcode.、Um, so there should be max heap, a new priority queue, and we now need to write the numda comparator, which a、uh, numda expression, which will be the map. Get b minus map get a, which means they ordered by the frequency. And let the max heap add、uh, or the map key set. We add all the、uh, distinct barcode to the map. And while the map he max heap dot size greater than zero, we can assign the Barcode to the result array because it's greater than zero, so it at least has one barcode. It should be max heap. Uh, pick. Um, pour. We can use pour. Okay. So then the result we need a index start from zero, and the index plus plus equal to a. Uh, and then if this. Uh, and at this time, if the max heap size equal to zero, we just break. If it still has some value, 
will let the b equal to max hip pull. Let's make sure these a b are different. The result index plus plus equal to b. And then we need to update the map and the hip. We parse the map and parse the max hip and parse a and update map max hip. Uh, Actually, we can just write this code in this while loop, but to make it more modularization, we we can use another function, which is the update, and we parse the map, integer map, their map, and the priority queue, priority queue, it will be integer max heap priority integer and the a. Well, if there the frequency of the a is only one, because we pull it, so we do not have any a uh, last. But if it uh, the frequency is greater than one, we still have some other a. So we need to uh, offer that a into the heap again. So if the map get a equal to one, we just uh, remove a from the map. If it's greater than one, we let the map put a and map get a minus one, and the max heap of this a again. So finally, just return this result array. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.